this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Turn, I just wonder how you addressing it in showing the scriptures and talking to them. The other option sometimes too, if y'all don't mind, I know that I have conversations with people in the workplace, in the, in the when I go to a, a dealership or, or you know, some kind of salesman or representative in a business and, 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 and key up that conversation. Not a Bible thumping, you know, but just weaving in the gospel. And you never know where that person will reach to their pastor and talk to him about it. So yeah. there's ways of getting there is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, um, even, um, even, um, even um, this video is a way of talking, reaching out to people yeah. to hear it. But you my know? thing is, where we are right, right now, we are rightly dividing this word. We are, we are taking the gospel and we are breaking it down yes. into bite-sized pieces that we can eat. Right up, you know, right this is a giant meal and you just cannot yes. choke it down. Come on, Because you will not get the intricacies and all the flavors and all the orders and, and everything that comes along with this meal. Come on, brother. So we are enjoying. We yes, are sir. we are taking you know bite-sized pieces, and we're chewing on this stuff come on, come until on, we get the fullness of all that flavor before we swallow it in. Yes, sir. To our spirit. Yes, sir. So now that we're doing that, I, I in my mind, it's not to stay with us. Yes. There's no way that God is keeping us safe in this time, this particular time mm -hmm. to not make a change in the body of Christ. So, <laughs> and, and, and I know this is God's spirit that's talking to me. Yes, sir. That there are things that are put on my heart that makes it a desire to make change. Yes, sir. Not on, on an individual level, but to me, it's to get to these pastors and to call them out. And and I thought it was, and you, I didn't, I didn't know if it was by the wayside, you know, by pulling them it could to, be. The, to the side and communicating to them, yes, or just putting them on blast in front of everybody. But well, I, think, I think it had to be letter spirit. You really yeah, got to yeah. let and, it, and some that, of you guys need to be blasted in front of yeah. everybody. They've been and lying. That, that was my point. And, yep. and I'm and I'm and I'm a witness that during our conversation here, within the last five minutes, the spirit has been dealing with me and he's been showing me that you take that person and you you let them know, okay, well, this is not this is not what the word says, and you're telling us. To, to a congregation, the children yeah. of God. And that? so are you going to come back and correct this or not? And then you come back and if they don't correct it, then you call them out. Uh -huh. Yeah. And that's the course of action that I'm seeing in, in my spirit right now. I, I, you know, I believe that that's what, where God is leading me. I and think I you should go with your leg. Just feel like your leg. You better yeah. Yeah. So, so I thank God that he is equipping me with his word. I yeah. thank God that he is perfecting me in his word. And I know that there is more for me to learn and more for me to extrapolate and more for me to, to pull out from my spirit mm -hmm. into my carnal mind. Not my carnal mind, but in the spirit of my mind. Let me okay. correct that. To where I know what God's word is and where it needs to be applied. Yes, sir. So there is something that that I think we've seen manifest in the earth that was a, a message to the church. There used to be a time we had to dial up the internet, and we there was a delay between the time that we were actually interacting with the internet. And, yeah, I still remember the noise it made. <laughs> <laughs> 
but, <laughs> but but now we're online for the most part. The only thing you gotta do is like click the little button, and you yeah. so we we are twenty four seven online with God. I mean, with God. I said with the internet. The information flow is available to us. We had to get adjusted to that. Yes. Now what's happening is, I think as far as growth is concerned, Jesus tells him to talk about the vine. He says, if you abide in me, you can produce nothing. So it's a continuous abiding in Christ. But he says, pray without ceasing. And we keep thinking like prayer is something we got to go before God and ask him for something. But prayer is actually the communication. It's the yeah, it's, that's him. all that means. It's communication. communication. That's yeah. all that is. And that flow of information for us is continuous. We have to get accustomed to it because the first thing we have to close out, <laughs> trust in the Lord with all our heart, oh, living not in our own understanding and all yeah. our knowledge him and he would direct your path. Yes. He would yeah. direct every real time as far as we do at time instance of our lives. Yes. Yeah. Meticulous in detail. I remember once I got that word, pay attention to detail, pay attention to detail. And it was with me for like three, four years. I didn't understand it. And finally got to realize what it was. It was like, I would listen to God for a brief moment. And then I think I have enough information now to run off and do something. <laughs> Only to have to be called back. <laughs> so that, that, wasn't, that, got, that wasn't where I went to go. Y'all start yeah. listening to me. Listen to him. Listen to him. And that's, and that's where I'm at right now. Because even as we converse with each other, subconsciously, there had to be another conversation going on. Yeah. I remember that one of Brother Allen was talking about the airport. Was it an airport or something? You, God told you to talk to somebody and you felt bad. Oh, you. That was that was at a Waffle House. Oh, wow. I, can, I can see that in my mind's eye. I was I was at the VA, you know, and you got to fast before you get your blood when you go yes, all sir. the way to Dublin. Right. So after I, as soon as I get my blood, I just leave because my yeah. appointment's always later. Right. And I go straight over and get something to eat. And I, I can see them people sitting right in front of me right now in my mind's eye and how the spirit was dealing with me to go talk to them. And here, here I am in my carnal mind. Okay, God, give me what you want me to say. He never said it. He said, go talk to him. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I had to do was just go over there and just, just talk to him. I'm like, God, wait, wait. Just tell me whatever it is you want me to take to him. Yeah. Tell me. He said, go talk to him. No, no, no. Do. Tell me what you want me to say. <laughs> It'd be funny, but it's obvious that sometimes when you go talk to somebody, they are bring it up. It's yep. like yeah. God is dealing with them. And you yeah. immediately key in on that and say, oh, now I know where you want me to go. Yeah. Because that person, because people got different things, but they'll tell you. Yeah. Especially strangers, they have no problem telling you stuff. You know, I believe the opportunity will ex will will, will present itself. Yes, sir. You know, I'm, well, it was a teaching. If I, I just think that the Holy Spirit was teaching me something. Well, you know, you. that when yeah. when I put it on you to speak to somebody, you don't necessarily need to know in detail what I have to say. Amen. And you know how people always think that, you know, these people are given the details of my, uh, you know of my intimate thoughts and, and and detailed information about what I've done wrong, you know, how I committed sin and all this other stuff. Actually, what I've come to learn is in a conversation, the spirit just gives you things to say and yes, you still, yes, like me, I still wouldn't know uh -huh. the details of what actually happened, but the words that come out of my mouth may seem that way. My faith. But in my mind, I don't understand or know anything that's going on. I'm just speaking what the spirit gives me. By faith. That's You're it. looking at me like, how does this man <laughs> know? And I don't know. <laughs> no. By faith. But, but the Holy Ghost is giving you the information. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, all about faith, faith, man. It's all about faith. You see, so you done had five of them. Yeah. <laughs> I think he has to chew on that. It's about faith. Move out on faith and move out on love. Yeah. Yep. See what God does. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. We're going to have to pray out, though, man. We're way right. past uh, we're on 11, almost 11 30. Look at this. Eternity just don't mean nothing. That's good. I mean, like, praise God, man. There ain't no scale for us no more. There ain't no midlife crisis. No, we ain't no beginning. We, we in there. We in the pocket. Already yeah. seated in heavenly places, as Brother Asses would say. Woo! Excuse me. Woo. Thank you, Lord, for the connect. Mm. Yes, Thank sir. you, man. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the connection, man. Thank you for 
let us experience eternity even as we sit in this place right yes, here. Yes, Lord. How the passage of time means absolutely nothing to us. We lose track of time when we're in your presence, Lord God. And we pray, man, we just we just thank you. We don't pray. We thank you for the experience. We thank you for the joy, the peace, the long suffering, the patience, the meekness, all that is you to experience it right now in real time in you and as we walk the walk of this life. Yes. Even as we traverse here in this earth. Lord, we pray that you continue to grow us in our dependency on you. Give us the words to think, to speak, Lord God. Lord, let us hear your voice clearer than we hear our own. Come on. Your loudest voice in our head, Lord God. Lead and guide us by your spirit. You said those who led in the spirit of God are the sons of God. We can't accomplish this work aside from you, Lord God. We don't know what to say. We don't know what to do. We don't know how to touch a person's soul. And it said with many it is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Yes. Use us to get somebody else in your fellowship. Yes, Lord. Work through us, Lord God. We ain't worried about them being biggest. We ain't worried about them being black or white or purple or green. It don't make no difference no more. Because we understand those that are in you, all the household of God, they're our brothers, they're our sisters. Yes. And we're asking you, bind your family together. Touch the hearts of every Christian, every person that calls upon the name of you in the United States of America. I'm begging yes. you for that. And I know I ain't got to beg, but I'm, I'm asking you to touch them, Lord because yes. we're in a beautiful situation where we can witness to the world your yes. glory. The world is looking at the United States of America right now, Lord God. They're looking at this and, and, and seeing this maybe in a denigrated state, but Lord God, we know you can raise us up. Yes. I ask you even now, and I know it might even be a vain prayer to pray, but save Donald Trump. Yes. Save this man. Pray Touch for this leader, God. Yeah. Put him in the position where he will acknowledge your sovereignty, your awesome, your man, make him. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, help, us. help me. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Lord. Cause Man, I pray for this brother, man. I pray for him. I pray Amen. that you can put this heart. Heart. change him right there in the middle of everybody. Lord, do a magic trick on him. <laughs> just, just touch his heart and turn him to another man. Just fix him, even on the spot. Fix his heart, Lord God, that the world might see your glory manifested in this man and that they would be at least become curious as to what you and who you really are to see the miraculous works that you can do in a man that has been in the world of buffoon and a laughing stock. Lord God, I pray, move on him and move on me so I can speak well when I'm supposed to speak, hold my peace. Lord God, stay diligent and before you. Strengthen me not to be cowardice and prophecy in your word, Lord Jesus, or standing steadfast in what you require me to do. And I pray for you impart the same the spirit to every brother that's here right now. Strengthen us to go out in the hard times, Lord God, right now on this need. Strengthen us, Father God, when the heat is turned up to go out there and speak truth, regardless of what happens with our lives, the earthly lives. For you said if we give our life for your sake, you give it back to us. Let yes. us walk in that assurance that we have already entered into eternity. All we need do not receive these new vessels, yes. and we get you go. We love you, Lord. We love you. And just continue, continue to Continue to grow us in love, one for another, and one for you. And this I pray in the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. 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 It's an awesome All prayer. All right, brother. Y'all be blessed. Chill on that word. Be led by the Holy Spirit. I guess your opportunity coming this week. You're going to be led somewhere. <laughs> hey, hey, Pastor, uh, before we go, can you make sure that you have my correct information so that I can get the uh, call out? Okay, are the, you getting the you getting the uh, videos? My weekly videos. I get the videos, but so, I don't I don't get the uh, Zoom request. Anyway.